Hey, welcome to the show. If you are interested in getting into robotics or your school and trying to figure out what robotics kit is best for your school, then this is the show for you. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today we're going to talk about different robotics kits and what might work best for you or your school. So let's get started. I love the Vex Robotics. Um, this is Vex Robotics right here. This is one of their kits. This is Vex Robotics Go. But to start out with, you might want to start with the Vex 123. It's like a um, about the size of a hockey puck. So let me go ahead and open that up for you to show you what you're going to get. And here is the Vex 123. It comes in different colors. And as you can see, you can program this. Let me go ahead and start this up right here. So in order to program this, all you have to do is um, click on this arrow right here. I'm gonna do it twice. And then I'm gonna do the turn arrow. And that turns at 30 degrees. And then I'm gonna go once. And then I'm gonna turn it another 30 degrees. And then twice like that. And then you just hold down on the middle part. And then there you go. And in order to race all those commands, all you have to do is shake it like this. So this is really neat because you can do the programming right here on the one, two, three, but it also comes with a board with a lot of different uh, codes com and commands there. So the board looks like this. It syncs up with this controller right here. Let me kind of zoom out here so you can see that. It's, it syncs up, it runs by uh, two batteries right there. And you would insert the codes, and I'll show you what the codes look like. There's a ton of different codes right here. So you can see that you can hit end if object glow, you can change the color of the, um, the lights on here. Turn left, turn right, random, turn right. Um, drive, all these are really awesome. And you just insert these codes right in here and you hit play and then that'll activate it. So there's not only just one way to activate this, you can do it on this little hockey puck. You can use this board, but for your advanced users, you can also use the computer, your laptop, your Chromebook, or even your phone to code with the VEX123. Um, this is a great uh, introduction to coding. Um, and uh, I would probably recommend, um, you know, this could be great for like maybe a first grade or second grade. Uh, with the coding, it gets, it can get complex if you want to, or it can get kind of, you know, you can make it basic. But this is a great um, option for your robotic class is the VEX123. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off for right now and put that to the side. VEX also has, it's called the VEX Go. Um, now this one right here, this retails for about $120. This, uh, in the, this is about $200. This is the VEX Go. It comes in two cases and it's designed to work with maybe two or three students. I like working it with uh, two students, that works best. And it comes with a lot of cool stuff you'll see in here. It has your, um, your, your motors right here, your different sensors. It even has a magnet that you can turn on and off. It has light sensors, like distance centers, sensors. Um, it has a uh, rechargeable um, uh, power pack and your brain right here. So it's, um, it's, it's awesome. And the way, um, I, the way VEX sets up their program is they have an awesome curriculum that works with the teachers. It, it works with standards. It's all set up. It works with engineering, literacy, mathematics, science. Um, and, and you go in there and it's like a whole year long or two year uh, curriculum on different things. Um, they have a curriculum set up for the VEX 123 the VEX Go and even the VEX IQ and other VEX products. This right here, um, I'm using this with uh, third grade and third grade loves it. Um, there's so many things to, uh, to teach with. Um, right now we're doing a lot of engineering and then we're gonna get into the coding. So um, this is highly recommended, I, I love it. Very easy for the teachers, 
huge library of resources. So I'm going to put this off to the side here and I'm going to show you another product and that is the Vex IQ. The Vex IQ comes in two cases like this. And the nice thing about the Vex IQ is it has a controller. And it's a little, quite a bit more advanced um, with uh, than the Vex um, Go. There, there's so many Vex products, I'm kind of getting them uh, mixed up a little bit. Um, but this is probably geared, I would probably start this maybe in fourth grade, but there are schools that start it earlier and they just you know adapt it to their curriculum and the student's uh, learning ability. Um, this is really neat. Check out on the VEX website. You'll see like it's just amazing what they're doing with the VEX IQ. And there's competitions and everything is set up. So this retails for $450, I believe. Um, and once again, um, with the VEX products like this and the VEX Go or, and even the VEX um, 1, 2, 3, it's designed um, to work with maybe two or three students because you will have a student that um, they have different responsibilities. And th the cool thing about VEX is um, it's designed, it's, it's like about 45 or 50 minutes. And halfway through you take a break, you have a meeting and you discuss problems and you do a lot of problem solving, thinking outside the box. How can we solve this? How can we make this better? Uh, what can we do different? And then after that, then those two students are going to switch their responsibility. And now one is going to be the builder and one will be the designer or journalist or, you know, whatever uh, you Control. switch them with. Controller. So um, it's I love how they set it up. And then at the very end, you want to allow a little bit of time to, you know, put things back into the case and break it down if you choose to. Uh, sometimes when you do some complex problems with complex models or building with the VEX IQ, then you can just uh, keep that for another day. Um, but these are set up that, um, you know, when you're using your VEX kit, you, you have time to put it back together and so you're ready for the next class. And so, um, Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, like I said, VEX, um, there's another one for high school. I don't have that right now, but uh, that's that's one of my goals. But uh, so we have the VEX uh, 1, 2, 3, the VEX Go. Go right here, and the VEX IQ. So we're super excited. Good morning there, Lucas. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> my Lucas has a kind of a cold right now. So, all right, the, this is great. I love working with the VEX. They, they have an awesome curriculum, but there's some other robotic uh, kits that I want to introduce you to. This is the Azobot. And um, if you're ever looking, if you know, maybe you can go on Facebook and see if anybody has some used Azobots. This is the Azobot bit, which is nice. But if you're going to be doing the classroom, I would probably get the Ozobot Evo. These retail for about $170 each. So this whole kit is probably about $2,000. Um, they come with markers. Um, they come. Uh, this the classroom kit is awesome because uh, you can, yeah, you can you can put them right inside here and snap them and charge them up. Um, these are awesome. They are designed uh, from kindergarten to 12th grade. Um, they have an awesome curriculum also on their website. Check it out. They have, just like VEX, they have um, uh, the lessons are sometimes in vid uh, have video lessons. Um, working with everything. I'm talking like mathematics, science, history, social studies, uh, literacy, uh, verbs, uh, compound reading. words, reading. It, it's it's amazing and it's con and it's just growing and growing. Um, Is that lunchtime? <laughs> yes. And uh, what I like about it is if you're teaching VEX or whatever a robotic uh, class you're teaching, mix it up. You know, bring in Ozobots, bring in some of these other uh, robotics that I'm going to introduce. Make Ozobots carry some of the IQ. Yes, things. because you're dealing with coding and it brings that level of excitement. Uh, for me, if you're going to teach robotics, you want that excitement because uh, you, you in, in, and you want to change things up. So you want all those students to be involved and excited about this. Anyway, um, with the VEX Robotics, it's, it's um, not VEX Robotics, with the Ozobots, 
Um, th it's cool because they can follow a line, but it's not just about following a line. You can use the markers to design your own code on here. And then um, you can also use the computer to uh, code. And then, uh, and it's cool because Ozobuzz has different levels of coding along with VEX and these other programs. So it has your basic coding and then it works into more advanced coding for your other students, like even in high school. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on the Ozobots right now on how they work. Uh, check it out on their website and I'll also make a video yeah, on this. Right the next one is called the boat. It's the uh, boat sphere and this is really cool. And, and this, it comes with this. Yeah, it comes with that. That's his charger. And but this yeah. is waterproof. And this is extremely fast. So, so I'm going to do a... Um, can it go right through it can, screen? It can go right through the water. So Piece like I said, bolt? this is an Ozobot. And this is the sphere bolt right here. Again... Can this chase a boat? It, it, I don't know if it can chase a boat or not. Again, with this company, they have some other robotics um, on there, uh, really cool. Um, I think it's like a car or something like that. I'm hoping to do a review on that. Um, again, a company that has taken time and has an awesome curriculum set up for the teachers, going from mathematics, science, literacy, everything. And the way this works is you um, code it. You can use your phone. You uh, can code it. You, you can, can code it. Yes. You it, can kick it. <laughs> you can program it, code it. Uh, you can I use your phone or the computer. You can hot. You can puck it. <laughs> no, you can't hit it. No, no. <laughs> On the phone, I mean. Oh, yes. And um, the other day, uh, Lucas was using this um, in the school, and this thing went so fast down the hallway. So. Um, uh, no, you. Oh, was I doing it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That, okay. And uh, uh, make sure you check out my channel and my other videos. I'll have an awesome review on this. And it was it yesterday. But this is an awesome, uh, another awesome thing to introduce to your robotics class um, because you're, 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 you're shaking up your class. You're adding an excitement, bringing in new things. Another new thing, where is it? I got so much stuff right here. This right here, this is Code Drone. Check out my video, I have a video on this. This is not like your regular drone that you're gonna have at Walmart um, or, or a cheap thing. Or a drone that we were good, are we putting on a new show? Yeah, we got a lot of uh, drone videos, but this is not that. This is made so that you can code with it. So once again, when you're coding with VEX, you're coding with Ozobot, you're coding with the Bolt Sphere, why not bring in a drone? A lot of schools are going to toward drone programming and coding, and this is a great starting point. Because it can find your classroom. This is awesome, it really is. Um, check out the video, I just, I, I don't have a lot of time to go into it right now, but what you do is you go into the, uh, the program, I think it's like Blocky Code or something like that. Yes, Again, Blocky Code starts from basic and you can also have more advanced. Um, you hook it up through this control, uh, you can use this controller if you want to, um, but the students are gonna have an awesome time programming this uh, little drone. Now, this company is called Robolink. Check it out. They have bigger drones and more advanced um, and, and for uh, coding and programming. So, all right, Lucas, um, I'm going to move on a little bit. Okay. Um, with robotics, with programming... Um, you got to make your own robots. Yes, you want to start to make your own robots. Um, there's also a website. It's I think it's called Hour of Code. I'd recommend that because it really gets the kids excited and learning about coding. Yeah, they have some it. awesome tutorials on there. And I'm running out of table space right here. And you want to start getting more into electronics, um, wiring, um, circuitry. Um, kind of pushing your class toward that. Again, working with VEX, working with Ozobots, Sphere Boat, you're, you're adding that, that next level of excitement and you can start to have the kids, you know, the kids might like, hey, I want to start building my own robot. Well, then let's start, you know, work as a robotics teacher, let's start understanding some circuitry. So this is one I did not um, have a chance to review this or even take a look at it. The company I know is starting to work on a curriculum for teachers. I don't think they have it set up yet, 
But this is um, one of my students, actually. Uh, her name is Lucy. She sent me um, a video, and she was working with this. It was like, hey, this is awesome. And she started to understand circuitry, that you have to have a closed circuit and, and negative and positive. So awesome. I'm starting to run out of uh, battery time, so i got to really hurry up. So let's, um, OK, about $120. Vex Go right here i'm teaching it in third grade they love it you could probably introduce it in second grade if you wanted to but i think third grade is a great uh place to start it with vex iq start that maybe in fourth grade you can use it in all different classes you can get the ozobots get the uh, sphere boat add that to your collection of robotics uh get the uh the drone all these things Make sure you check out battle, our channel. The battle bots are really good because you can use <laughs> stuff like We got robot. seconds left on our battery. So make sure you check out our channel. We're going to have tons of robotic videos, updates, products on there. Take a look at our other videos and like always, have a fun day. Adios. Bye-bye.